Right here. We'll have a look into how can you protect your circuits from um, overcurrents with a simple fuse solution. So let's get into it. So anyway, here's the fuse. Um, five times twenty millimeters. And um, it's got a, the way this works is the current goes in, current comes out, and then when the current gets too too big, too large. Then there's a little filament inside that burns out and um, you can actually very easily know if it's broken or not by using a multimeter. So you can just measure if there's conductivity. And as you see, this one's okay. Yep, and the fuses come in these kind of nice neat boxes with various current ratings. And um, there are actually um, so-called fast versions of these, and, um, and then there's slow, slow-burning ones. So um, depending on if you have a have a device that has a large initial um, current surge, then you might want to take the one, not the, the slow variant. Otherwise, you use the fast. I mean, the 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 amperage rating is given, but. You know, don't take it for given that it blows at exactly the current that it's, that it's given. Maybe like you know, one and a half times, two times. <laughs> okay. Actually, they come packed quite nicely, so then you. Yeah, and they're relatively cheap. So if you end up blowing up some of them, it, it doesn't really matter. And then when. Um, I'm dealing with breadboards or um, proto boards, then I like using these holders, these types of holders. So you can either you can either solder them to a, to a prototype board, or you can actually they do the um, the hole is big enough on the um, breadboard to actually just insert, and then you just plug a fuse in. So then you can actually wire, you can actually have a have a fuse for your breadboard project, which is quite nice. Also other fuse holders, something that looks like this. This is for like panel mounting. You know, kind of you can screw it open and you can put a fuse in there. And then if you would just like to protect an individual cable, then you have these kind of in-cable um, fuse holders. And you screw that apart and then you put a fuse in. Close it again. It's also quite often there in, embedded in, for example, here's a, a mains um, adapter for inserting into the um, side of a box. You also have um, a fuse embedded here. And when it comes to equipment, then you know they, they can uh, the the fuse holders can come in, in various disguises. So, for example, this one. I mean, you know, does this have a fuse? Well, actually, you could argue maybe not, because you don't really know. But um, then suddenly it appears that this is actually a fuse holder. Whoa. <laughs> and there's, there's round variants of fuse holders also in, in equipment, so they, 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 can, they can be disguised in various different ways. So if you're looking for a blown, blown fuse, then um, yeah, the, the, the different types of fuse holders that exist in the world are, are many, and, and they look different. And, and they're not always that clearly marked either. So I hope you found this informative, uh, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, merch is available, um, you can also just buy me a cup of coffee, the links are in the comments, and all contributions will go to developing the channel, and uh, see you in the next one.